morning. River's a little low, it's probably only half the flow. John Deary extended his, his lead, uh, not by a lot. So half the flow when we pre it last week, so uh, so you've just got to pick your channels a bit more sensibly. And, and normally on this river, it's got so much flow you can take a lot of shortcuts and get away with it. But uh, today was we were pretty conservative and just uh, ran a good, hopefully ran some good lines, but we got here. So. Twin turbo charge boat had some sort of an exhaust issue. Just spotted a wee crack in the front of the turbo here, so we'll whip it off and shoot up to the, the garage and see if we can get it welded before down leg. There was one guy in the CX boat, Wayne Boys, who basically had an alternator wire fall off. Managed to source the problem and uh, yeah, we just kept going as far as we could until uh, until it stopped. <laughs> then his battery went and of course that was the end of him and they had to tow him home. Yeah, we're out of overall now, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll carry on and uh, see what happens. Still a long way to go. Yesterday we had a, we had a rough uh, run down the Rakaia. We, um, we tore the, the rear plastic off our sponsors on both sides. Um, overnight we replaced that with some uh, thicker section material and it's um, substantially sl slowed our cornering down today. Probably slowed our cornering speed down about 20%. Uh, and then looking at the overall position, we've, uh, we've probably blown three or four or five minutes today. Well the upstream created problems for some, certainly the downstream usually is easier but what happens there is the speed's up like 15 mile an hour with the current flow because Roger Preston got caught out and ended up in a big spin in the boat and he's probably at like better than 120 mile an hour. We had a great run down about 4k before the finish, we um, hit a bit of a wake, like a pressure wave and, and it spun us and we lost both wings and, and then we carried on. The downstream was good, we got about halfway down and we started getting some good lift. I don't know whether the wind had swung around or what, but we started getting some good speed and passed a couple of boats and finished up behind John, so all good. John Deary had a very clean run today, up and down and of course on the way down he led the charge home and got home first. But hey, that doesn't mean to say he got the fastest time, but he, he would have been a very fast boat. Justin Hill did the same, like he's leading A class at the moment. Justin had a problem on day one which gave him a DNF. And of course when you've got a DNF you're not eligible for the overall, but hey, he's trying hard and he's certainly trying to get that boat going faster and faster and he's getting experience for the World Championship next year. I had a good run up, um, just sort of coming down a little bit my mother, but didn't have any two big moments, so just got here and we've got a bit of work to do tomorrow, so we'll um, yeah, take another day tomorrow and push on for the rest of the week. So what was your issue coming down stream? I don't know, just sort of been going all over the river, left, right and centre. Couldn't find a good stream down actually to be honest, but I, don't know, I think we're just sort of chasing Aaron too hard, losing our own, our own weight, so yeah, so that's good fun. And I think Nigel Cromie had a good run up and down. He caught people, passed people, so he may have put up a very fast time. It's a lay day, of course, tomorrow, but most of the guys you might think are sleeping, they won't be. They'll be up the Matuki Tuk and up the Dart, pre-running those rivers to see what they're like, because I believe there's been lots of rain in the back hills, and those rivers are really, really high at the moment. <laughs>